Your life literally depends on the coverage that you're getting from TV Line at Comic-Con. That finale was so awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So awesome. Uh, does the first episode pick up right where we left off? You see pieces of what happened right where we left off, so it's like kind of is and kind of isn't. It's not necessarily a direct pickup. You're back at work though. You yes. How yes. many days under your belt? Three. I understand from my sources that Barry is getting his own felicity yeah. this season. Yeah. Plans are in a tizzy. What does this mean for Iris? It makes sense, I think, not to jump for Barry and Iris to jump into a relationship, first of all, I think. Because not only is Iris grieving about Eddie, uh, everyone's grieving about Eddie. And th I think Barry's there for Iris as a best friend right now. But y yeah, we're introducing Patty Spivet, who is, will be, I think. I'm not grieving for Eddie. Um, no, you're not. You're gone. You're not even on the show. <laughs> anyway, anymore. go on. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, we're going to introduce Patty Spivet, who's going to be fun. I think they'll be able to have some fun banter. And we'll see probably more of the field work with the CSI and police stuff, because she's going to be a police officer. What's Iris's reaction, do you think, going to be to this new? I don't know. First of all, I'm excited to have more females on the show. I think the more, the merrier. So mm -hmm. having a Patty on the yep. show is really exciting. Yeah, I agree. He's very excited about it. <laughs> but for Iris, I think it's the same thing that Grant was saying. You know, she's got to grieve um, Eddie, you know, and give that the, the respect that is it's due. And I think the, I keep saying this, but the relationship between Barry and Iris is so iconic. We're hoping to have plenty of seasons on the show. And we want that to come, if it does come, at the right time. Tom, can you tease anything about Harrison's resurrection? I will say this. There was a, in, it was enjoyable in the first season to play um, good and evil uh, uh, duality. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, when you heard your character's getting married in the finale, were you surprised it went off without a hitch? I love working with Robbie, so it's nice to have him on the show, and nice to be married, He's amazing. and hopefully we live happily ever after. Favorite Cisco one-liner? Oh, Favorite great question. Cisco oh, great one-liner. Question. Can we all say our <laughs> favorite Cisco one-liner? <laughs> Yes, yes, please, one at a time. Well, mine is the, definitely the, um, Sonic Punch, baby! Yeah, that that's the amazing. best one, yeah. yeah. That one's a classic. I don't know, I kind of like, uh, Ain't Nobody Got Time for Bees. Yeah, that's a good uh -huh. one, too. Uh-huh, That's a Carlos Adler. original. Yeah, yeah that's no, true. That's yeah. why he likes it. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be on set and just see this story play out again after all these years in obviously such a different way? Well, it's great to see a show where everyone's working so hard go into an audience that is receptive and ready for it when comic books went mainstream. I mean, when you're working as hard as you have to do when you're doing a superhero show, it's, uh, it's good not to have to work equally hard to find an audience, which was our experience. I mean, Jesse Martin last year was amazed that we were getting so much love before we had ever been this version on the air for the first time. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's great. It's great to see this have the popular success uh, that we just missed the last time. It's an interesting perspective. Thank you.